Welcome back to the program where this episode I'm taking a look at one that excited me when I bought it. Picked this up at the Barrel House in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, this here, as you, as you know from watching the channel, if you've watched the channel, you know I'm a Star Wars nerd, right? Sci-fi, science fiction, um, those types of uh, those types of movies I'm big into and television programs or whatnot. So this here, inspired by the movie Spaceballs, the Mel Brooks movie Spaceballs. This here is Moon of Vega. Lots of puns, lots of throwbacks to Spaceballs right here. Number one, Moon of Vega. That is like the desert planety looking thing in the movie that they crash land on. Uh, so on here you see the 86 Winnebago. Uh, I believe the Winnebago was called Eagle um, Eagle 5 or Eagle 4 or something like that in the movie. Can't really remember offhand. And you also have the comb from where they were combing the desert. It's a parody of Star Wars. There's lots of just slapstick type of jokes and comedy in it where they were dragging this giant comb across the desert, combing the desert, looking for um, Lone Star, Barf, and um, the princess, and whatever else they were looking for. So you got yogurt there. Mel Brooks played yogurt in the movie. And that is a uh, like a parody of Yoda from Star Wars. Spaceballs is a parody of Star Wars. Uh, all kinds of cool stuff on here. Um, so I'm pretty pumped to have this. Plus Equilibrium and J. Wakefield. So J.W.B. Equilibrium. Two upper tier breweries collaborating on this right here. Now I do understand... Uh, just looking up online, there's this and a batch two. Untap says this is like no longer in, you know, dis discontinued or whatever, no longer distribution. But batch two is, but this does not say batch two on it anywhere. Uh, but it's just, I, all I do know, double IPA with vanilla and lactose, 8.7% alcohol by volume. Right in my wheelhouse is probably where this is going to fall. And it's cool. This can is going to end up back here uh, somewhere. Uh, just because it's cool artwork, it's going to be a, a talking piece. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be damn good as well. So I've rambled enough. I get a little bit of a roll on it. Then we're going to crack this thing open. And um, hopefully it's as delicious as it is cool. Everything about this is cool to me. All right, so while I'm doing this, hit that notification bell down there so you can stay current. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, think about becoming one. If you like what you see here, hit that like button. Oh, wow, that thing, that looks good. I can already tell this is going to be a banger, as they say. All right, I'll save some in there because I will be filming a TikTok review as well. Oh, I already get just an awesome aroma. But before we get into that, we got about a finger and a half of head up on top of this. Just that orange juice looking presentation to this is what this is. Fantastic. Uh, there are a few, uh, a few larger bubbles. Uh, inside there. They're really not popping away. They're just sitting there on top of uh, kind of a frothy, frothy looking head here. We're going to get a little swirl here. Get a little nose on this thing. That's that legendary EQ juice, I guess. Man, Citrusy, tropical. Oh, it's wanting to burst out of this glass. Yeah, this is, it looks amazing. Smells amazing. Let's get a drink on this thing. Full body mouth fill. Oh. 
creamy, silky, oh so delicious. So it has some very, very, very nice vanilla. So kinda, not exactly, but kinda, you can have vanilla and you have, it doesn't really come across as real citrusy or tropical. It's kind of a mashup. The vanilla, the lactose adds this like really nice sweetness to it. So getting back to what I was saying, not exactly, but it does kind of put me in mind of that cream sickle. Um, you know, that cream sickle taste. Not exactly, you know, it's not exactly cream sickle, but I think the citrusy, tropical fruitiness of it with the sweetness of the lactose and then a good dose of vanilla creates that type of uh, sensation for me. It kind of puts, it's kind of borderline milkshake IPA. Um, that's kind of, because it's got that sweet vanilla to it. Yet it has the uh, tropical or citrus doesn't really pound out one way or the other. It's just a nice blend. No dankiness, no pininess. Um... A bitter hoppiness, but not like overly bitter. Friggin' home run. So I was hoping it would live up to this cool-ass artwork, cool-ass name, theme to this beer. It's just cool. Uh, scoring this, 4.5 out of 5. This is fantastic. Um, and I've had uh, some equilibriums. And uh, Jay Wakefield sent to me from my guys, Joe at the Beer Patrol and uh, Ridge Joplis, Mr. Ridge over there. Um, both of those guys have sent me stuff uh, from them. And this might be one of my favorites that I've actually had from Equilibrium. Uh, I've only had like three from JWP3 or maybe, maybe four. These guys are, both of these brewers are now more readily available uh, in Ohio. Bit pricey. Um, some of their offerings are. I think I paid like six bucks or something for this five fifty six dollars something like that uh, for this one right here. And this is what you would expect from a double IPA with vanilla, with lactose, with just a cool theme. With two breweries collaborating. Um, definitely cool. So that's the price range that this probably should be in uh, in my neck of the woods. Yeah, anyhow, like I said, 4.5 out of 5. Uh, you had this one before. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, anyhow, hope you like what you've seen here. Like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.